Hey folks, Dad here with Elevation Diecast Racing. Happy Friday. It is time for some Friday Night Lightning. This week we're going to take a look at some castings that I opened up and started working with during the week. Uh, a couple of surprises in this bunch. So, let's get to it. We're going to weigh them in and roll them out. We have a purple custom continental, 61.1 grams. Very sharp looking ride. I can uh, always dig a Lincoln. Super sharp. We're about to see if this one has any speed. We'll roll him up against the 55.6 custom Thunderbird. Another long casting. Nice wheelbase. Not a bad looking car. I can dig it. We got a track temperature of 78 degrees. Hope you folks have had a good week. Let's race some Johnny Lightning. Going down the lane, 2115 by the Lincoln. Let's go. 2115 will keep you active in competition. There's hope in that. Wow, look at him go, 2106. He's rolling on. Next up, we have a super sharp Cadillac, 55.4. No complaints about this ride. He is a little narrow, but I do believe he's a roller. I can't get over the paint job on this. The detail put into these Johnnies. I really, really, really enjoy these cars, and I like them even better when they're fast. We'll be taking on this 70 gram Redline Dodge Charger. First time seeing one of these. Very sharp. I had won a car in an auction and they were kind enough to send me some Johnny Candy and I really appreciate it. But to see how they roll. I think we got some speed. Oh yeah, that caddy, 2115. Look at that Cadillac go, 2105. We got some we got some competition tonight. Two for the parking lot. Coincidentally, here at Mile High, you get a ticket for going too slow. So another Cadillac Eldorado from the Clue series. 53.1. I may be wrong about that casting. That could very well be an Etzel. And it looks like we have a Ford delivery, 61.1. Let's see if these guys can get a clue on some speed. Cadillac 2101. Wow. He wasn't running that earlier in the week. Look at him go. Yeah, he's moving on. Here we have an even 60 gram Dodge Challenger. Ooh, buddy, this car is sharp. And I was told this is not the Grape Ape. So I am still looking for that one. But we're going to see what this one runs. He'll be rolling up against the Cat in the Hat GTO 55.3. All right. Let's go GTO taking on the Challenger. This ought to be a good race. Wow, 2078. What? Let's go. Those are top tier times. Wow, 2077. Let's go. Both of these are moving on. Quite possibly adding five cars. Quite possibly to the lineup and last week the truck got into the top tier and he was knocked out of the top tier upon the arrival of the Nissan so he's out leaving the gatekeeper Eamon's crazy bird and the Murata 
a new first, beating out the front run in Fairmont in the 51 to 61 weight class. Which leaves this truck to be the number one in the Johnny Lightning class. He is the fastest Johnny Lightning that's not in the top tier. He's gonna get his buttons pushed tonight. I can tell you that. Next up, we have the Wolverine 1950 Ford, 63.7 grams. And whether this truck is slow or fast, he's gonna look good in the Johnny Lightning parking lot if he is not in the rankings. He's gonna be taking on this World War II ambulance from the Surf Series. And uh, from talking to Brandon, who pointed me in this direction, said this is the only World War II vehicle with plastic tires. So I thought I had better Scoop them up. We'll see these boys roll and then we'll see what's getting into the rankings. Wow, 2095 to a 13. We'll swap lanes. I really do think it's to a Johnny Lightning advantage to be warm. If you can run a warm track, um, I am finding them to like the heat. 207.9, let's go! Johnny Lightning running some outstanding times tonight. Let's see, let's take a look at the Cadillac, or the Edsel and the Lincoln. I think are the slowest times. We'll see if they can get into the ranks. 2.105 to 09, we'll swap them. These are running really well tonight. I'm really surprised. Really pleased with the way these cars are performing. Wow. All right. We'll take the Lincoln. And we'll run him up against the winner of these. These two races here. 2-101. Good time. With these faster times with these cars, it's going to start getting harder to get into this weight class. Well, not weight class, but the Johnny class. Oh, yeah, cat in a hat. Woo, 2099. Cat in a hat with a better first run. We'll run him again. Just because. Liking the speed out of these Johnnies. All right, cat in a hat moving forward. These two are not out by any stretch. Oh, yeah. Let's see. Let's roll these two and put them up against the Wolverine. Cat in the Hat and the Lincoln. Happy Friday. Hope you are going to have a good weekend. Oh yeah, Cat in the Hat. Getting out on that Lincoln. GTO is performing well. 2102 in a greater than 6,000 feet. Needed by the Lincoln. 2097. Yes, he does it in an 8,000 speed. I hear you. I hear you. I got a no two. Let's see it. Wow. Woo. 2079 to an 88. Eight. Those are smoking times for Johnny Lightning. 9,000 speed by the Purple People Eater. Wow. Woo. 2088 is not fast enough and. Let's put that Lincoln in the truck down the lane. Let's go. 2089. A greater than 13,000 speed needed if the Lincoln is going to get in line. Wow. Well, these three definitely not out, but they are on the back burner. Let's see who's going third against the lineup. Is it gonna be the truck or the GTO? Um, my chips are on that truck. I like the barbecue chips myself. Look at the cat in the hat. Could not hold on. Wow, at 10,000 speed. Truck taken off. And he will be third in line. All right, so our gatekeeper is stiletto number two, 46 grams. Pretty sharp ride. We're going to give him a couple warm-up laps. Two 
105 is not bad. All right, first up is the cat in the hat. Can he take out the second stiletto? No. 2104 and at 4,000 speed. Greater needed by the Cat in the Hat GTO. 2100 in a 6,000 speed. That's going to get it. All right, it's GTO against GTO. Ooh, Cat in the Hat getting it done with a 12,000 speed. Wow, he is not even looking back. And the GTO and Stiletto will race off for the gatekeeper spot. All right, it's another GTO. Spot 28. Cat in the hat getting it done by five. 2096. Woohoo! That's where the buck will stop for that one. All right, continuing where we left off, the GTO. Now it's that 1950 Ford. GTO. Not very far behind. 2096 on the inside lane, though, is going to be tough to overcome for the GTO. And he won't do it. Truck's moving up. It's the number 27 Ultra Light 32.1 gram Mako Shark. Truck not having any trouble blowing his doors off, and now he's at a 2085. Wow. We're going to call that a one and done. He's going to have to race the GTO. Might be out of place there. Let's go with the Pace Car Corvette. 2085 by the 1950 Ford. Wow. Let's just put him against this Firebird. He sits at number 16. A little closer race that time. Still a 15,000 speed. It's going to be a lot to overcome for that Pontiac. But stranger things have happened here at Mile High Raceway, just like that. But that's not enough to get it done. The truck's moving up. Let's see how he does against the original stiletto. Wow. <laughs> 7,000 speed will run him again. 2013 and a greater than 7,000 speed. Stiletto throwing some drag. 2097, the truck's getting it done. Let's see how Mr. Norm's running this week. Wow, not as strong as this 1950 Ford. Woo, moving on. The number eight ranked ZL1 should give him a challenge. That truck's moving up. Wow. Woo, 16,000 speed. That truck doesn't pop those off as often as I'd like to see. And that is the inconsistency of Johnny Lightning. ZL1 this time. 2099 and a 1000 speed. So that's what that truck will need. A greater than 1000 speed and a 2099. He'll do it. 209 and a 9000 speed. Pretty strong. Let's see what the 52.8 Ford GT has to say at spot number 7. Close race, 4,000 speed. It's getting tighter. These Ford GTs can turn on the juice. 2101 and a greater than 4,000 speed. GT can't get it done. All right, it's Uncle Sam's Tornado. Wow. Okay, 8,000 speed. Looks like we're getting three top five cars. That is amazing. I really got to give a shout out to Brandon over at Scale Racing. He is showing me the way with the fast lightning. He uh, points some things out and it's up to me um, whether I want to take a chance or not. Because you really do take a chance uh, rolling Johnny Lightning. And uh, I'll tell you what. He knows his cars. All right, here is a Coca-Cola Studebaker 60, or not the Coca-Cola Studebaker, the gold Studebaker 64.5. The Coca-Cola Studebaker weighs 64. For spot number five in the Johnny Lightning class, the Ford. Wow, the Studebaker stops him. 2,000 speed. 
2096 and a greater than 2,000 speed would be needed by the Ford. And he, he'll get it done. Oh, no. It's not a greater than 2,000 speed. So 2091 and a 93. 2091 and a greater than 2,000 speed. 2089 and a whoo, 9,000 speed. He does it. That's crazy. He did that with authority. So how far are we going to go here to see? It's another Ford. This should be a classic. Oh yeah. Battle of the Fords. Wow, neck and neck. 9.6 to 9.8. 9.6 and a 2000's advantage to the Wolverine. Woo, Wolverine just kicking out fire. All right, for spot number three, he's got to take it from this 05 Mustang. Woo, 8.9 to 90, close race. This ought to do it. The Mustang should win this race. 2089 in a greater than 1,000 speed, and the Mustang will take it, and that will be the stopper. Wow, what a run by Mr. Wolverine, sitting in spot number four. All right, time for the World War II ambulance, taking on the Mustang right where we left off. Ambulance taking care of business, 2089 at 13,000 speed. He'll move on. It's the number two red import heat. Wow, that ambulance is fast. Holy smokes. That's a 15,000 speed. Import putting up a fight. 88 to 91. Eee, not going to cut it. All right, number one spot as of right now is the green F-250. Wow, the ambulance by five thousandths. 2082 and a greater than five thousandths feet. Or that truck is going to second place. Wow, the truck this time, 081. He will keep his spot. Look at that, 81 and a 13,000 speed. All right, let's see if this Challenger can beat this pickup truck. We've got some fast times. Going down here by Johnny Lightning. 2080 and a 2000 speed. Wow. 2080, the time to beat, and a greater than 2000 speed. Woo! 2075 and a 5000 speed will do it. All right, so right now, this truck is number two. He got kicked out of the top tier. We'll see if this uh, Challenger can take out the crazy Eamon's bird. I'm thinking he can. Look at him go. 207, 8 to 8, 3. All right, Eamon's crazy bird. Woo, just saved his little neck. 2080 oh, oh, and a 4,000 speed. We'll run him again. 2079 and a 4,000 speed. So that is faster. So Eamon's crazy bird will be going into the 41 to 50 weight class. So let's see how far he can make it. Wow, he gets past Kyle, 2076. Oh my Lanta. And a greater than 7,000 speed. Not gonna happen, and he's moving up the rank. We'll roll him against Buzz Lightyear, Kyle. Wow, blows his doors off. That's a 14,000 speed. Definitely gonna have to move him up the line. Let's roll him up against the 29th ranked F-250. Wow. Got him too. 2081 and a 13,000 speed or greater. 2076 and an 11,000 speed. That is very close. We're going to run him again. 2076 and an 11,000 speed. For that challenger to move forward. Not gonna happen. Number 30, Silver Bullet. Blows him up. 
and a 2011 does not belong in the top tier. I can tell you that. Might have a vacancy here, real quick. Yeah, there he goes. That's why he's in there. 208, 2 and a 4,000 speed. Should get him here, and he does. So this week's edition of Johnny Lightning Challenge, Friday Night Lightning, has produced a fast, number 30th ranked, top tier challenger. I like it. I dig it. I am after faster Johnny Lightning. So with that is one, two, three, four, five. Six Johnny Lightning in the top tier. And that's it for this edition of Friday Night Lightning. A lot of them got put out of the rankings. We'll be going through these again. And next week, we don't know what we have planned for Friday Night Lightning. It just comes. You never know what is going to show up at the track. So the truck is number one leaving the gatekeeper spot open we'll see who's going to entertain that spot from all of us here at elevation diecast racing if your car isn't fast at least it'll look good on the shelf